Hi everybody, welcome to Chris Cooks. Today we are making macaroni and cheese. My kids request this all the time, but we're gonna inject a little bit of fall into it with some butternut squash. The flavor is outstanding, very few ingredients, really simple to make. I think you are gonna love it. Let's get to it. first step to this that I take is optional. I'm going to brown up some pancetta. I crumble this over the top at the end. Great addition. You don't have to do that, but uh, awesome flavor. You could also just do bacon if you wanted to. That's going to go straight into our pan. We'll start rendering that out. Medium heat. That's four ounces of uh, diced pancetta. While that's browning, let's talk about the noodles that we're going to use. So macaroni is great. Shells, I would say, is even better. This type of macaroni specifically is my favorite. It's a very wide, short um, elbow macaroni and gets the cheese sauce, holds onto it really well, and is a great texture, perfect size. Don't get something too small. You don't want like the tiny elbow macaroni, but uh, a shell or something like this um, bow tie also works really well. This, uh, this is perfect. In addition to the pancetta, we only have a few other ingredients. Some chicken stock. Um, I use bone broth. I feel like that gives it a really nice consistency. Butternut squash that has been cubed up. This is like half of a butternut squash that has been chopped up, you know, maybe two to three cups of that. It does not need to be exact. It's really however much you want to add in. I have some aged sharp cheddar cheese here and then also some cream cheese. And a lot of this is just step by step. So we're waiting for the pancetta to render down. Just takes a little bit of time. I have a pot of water here that has been heated up and that's going to be ready for us. But first we want to get the um, butternut squash kind of cooking down before we drop the noodles in or else they'll be done just way too early. Into that pan directly, we're just going to go in with our bone broth. Deglaze that pan a little bit, get all of the cooked on bits, and then in with the squash. Kick the temperature up. With the squash in there, we've now turned that to high. We're going to bring that to a boil. Lid on, we want to cook that squash down so it's nice and tender. And as soon as that comes to a boil and is starting to cook down, that's when we will drop our noodles. Add about a half a cup of water and that should give us what we need. Pasta water should always be seasoned because um, that's how you're going to get seasoning into the noodles themselves. So salt, a couple good pinches of that probably two tablespoons. Of course, it'll depend on the size of pot, but you want the water to taste like the ocean, as they say. White wine vinegar, that's just gonna be, you know, however much, one to two tablespoons. And then also some olive oil. That adds a little bit of flavor, but also helps the noodles not stick together so badly. Got our pasta water back up to a rapid boil. We're gonna go in with all of our noodles. Both of those are cooking now. I'm gonna check on them every so often just to make sure that the noodles don't overcook. That's eight servings of noodles, just a standard size box, and it'll cook for eight to 10 minutes. We want it to be a little bit more on the al dente side, so we'll just keep an eye on that. The squash, that should also only take like five to 10 minutes. So we'll watch that as well. In the meantime, we will grate our cheddar. For this, you need just about a quarter of a pound of a good aged cheddar cheese because that squash is gonna help as our thickener. That's all grated. This should be all that we need. I'm gonna keep the rest of this cheese out just in case I need a little bit more to get us to that right texture, but I think we will be fine. I don't want the stock in here to reduce down too much. So 
Now we're gonna, now that that's at a pretty rapid boil, we'll drop that down to medium, medium high. Cover to keep as much of the moisture in there as we can and let that finish. Test the doneness of our noodles. Yeah, those are done. So we will turn the noodles off. Jules bought me this pasta pot, ouch, years ago. And I love it so much. We'll just let that strain for a little bit. Use the back of a spoon, kind of press that down. It should mash pretty easy. Heat off. For the squash, we're just gonna tilt it on its side. Take our immersion blender and blend all that up. Nice and smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, uh, you can just do that in a regular blender as well. It's fine. To this, this is one third of a block of cream cheese. We're gonna turn the heat back on, medium low. Once that cream cheese has broken down into the liquid, then we can start adding in our cheddar cheese. Seeing my consistency here, I'm going to use the rest of this. So this is gonna be a whole, like a half a pound of this sharp cheddar. There is one more ingredient I forgot to mention, and that is heavy whipping cream. Doesn't need much, maybe like two tablespoons, but that's really gonna help us get, get that creamy texture. Noodles are gonna go in, they're gonna finish cooking in the sauce, drink up the rest of that uh, liquid that's remaining in there and help thicken it up and turn it into the best consistency. It'll work out perfect, trust me. Up to this point, I have not added any seasonings into the sauce itself. Cheese has a lot of salt. Uh, the noodles are bringing their own salt, and so we're gonna taste it now for the first time and adjust if we need to. No seasonings required. That is done. And look at the consistency we ended up with on that cheese sauce. Perfect. To that, just a little bit more pancetta there on top. We don't need a ton. And that is finished. Look at that. Doesn't that look perfect? Mmm, yummy. I need to taste it. The smell of it. I mean, it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, that's so good. Mm. It's the perfect mac and cheese. I don't need to tell my kids there's squash in it. They don't care. They just care that it's amazing, and it is. Y'all definitely have to try this. I mean, I just can't stop. I can't stop eating it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you give it a try, would love to hear about it. Make it for somebody that you care about. It's the perfect consistency.